A very good morning to you, your crafty lot. I'm here with Christopher and we're going to be making garden decorations today. We've got a couple of different designs for you to sort of work with and experiment with. Um, he's going to do sort of a long um, strip of butterflies. I'll show you in just in a minute. Um, which is really nice to sort of put on any branches or any bushes you have in your garden. And I'm going to show you how to make a mobile, a sort of a garden um, decoration. I'll show you the sample just in a minute as well when we turn the camera around. Um, Christopher actually haven't made this one before, but he knows how to do it. And I'm really sure that he can talk you through how to do this one. Um, you can do it, sit what can you? Yeah. I have explained it to him so you can see I suppose the point I'm trying to make here that you can see that how easy it is to make something like this even for even for a child when it's your first make so you can get crafting together so good morning to all of you let me just go back and see good morning Edward, Sarah, Marion, Lucy, Jenny, Julie, Joe, Emma, Mary, Paula, Maxine and Dee, um, Karen. Oh, there are so many of you here this morning. So let Marie say good morning. Oh, she said good morning, Kitty and Christopher. So you say good morning as well, sweetheart. Good morning. And um, good morning, Annie. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the samples, what we are making. And uh, we got the butterflies on the website, so you can have a look. They're just like large, couple of sizes of acrylic beads there. So I'm just going to turn the camera around. So this is what Christopher is going to be making. These are really great because um, they just, can I just have your hand out for a second? They are very long um, uh, strips of... Um, sort of beads with the butterflies on we put them on tiger tail so they're really nice and strong we double crimped it at the bottom there's two crimp bits at the bottom and we double crimped it right at the top as well making a quite large loop probably about a three inch loop here for be able to get you on any decoration it's a really easy technique and what i'm going to be showing you to make is a mobile which then it's gonna have a circle at the top and then if I hold it up like that you probably can see it better um, a circle at the top, the top which is a memory wire necklace uh, size memory wire and we're just gonna use needle and thread after the memory wire and you can make probably more I, I put six um, strands dangling down but you can add more you can add less it's not entirely it's up to you but I really love this one it's just something different I guess to make so I'm just going to turn the camera around and uh, put it in the lighting rig and then Christopher can show you how to make these lovely Right, so I'm just going to leave it um, a little bit longer so you can see what we're moving because what we're making is quite bigger. So Christopher is choosing some green beads. Um, I guess the green butterflies will go nicely with it. Shall we do the green butterflies? Yeah. Right, so you need to take a length of tiger tail. Um, you need the length of sort of this lovely decoration, that the strip you want to make and just a little bit over the top for the loop. So I'm going to give Christopher probably about 80 centimeter or maybe just a little bit over. We can cut a little bit off at the end. Right, so there is a tiger tail. I'm going to give Christopher a couple of crimp beads and then he's going to show you how to crimp the end. There is your tiger tail. Um, now cream beads are this little metal, um, they look like actually like spacer beads, I guess, but they are soft metal, so you can crush them. And once you crush them with pliers, they will be stay secure and they will stay in place. So you can add a, two or three cream beads to the bottom, darling, to the one end of your tiger tail. Oops, sorry, <laughs> wobbling the camera. Shall we take this jumper off, sweetheart? So because I think you're gonna get caught on there. That's it. There you go. So what what are you doing? Tell the ladies. First thing you need to put the loud and clear First thing you need to put your crimp beads on the end. If you just do it one by one, so put one on and crimp it and then add the second one on, or are you going to do them all the same go? Mm. Right, so now you're going to take your pliers and crush it. So 
So you're just squeezing it together with the pliers. That's it. It doesn't matter if there's a little tail, we can trim this on off later on. And crush the other one as well. Yeah, I think that will be good enough, sweetheart. Right, so now, let me just have a look, just double check it for you. So now we're gonna take the other end of the tiger tail and we're gonna start stringing our beads on. So you want to put maybe two or three little beads on there and then your first butterfly. Careful with the lighting rig on your head. So take that all the way down, but keep talking to the ladies, tell them what you're doing. So once you put your three beads on, you want to get... Put one. a small one at the bottom, sweetie. You want to get a smaller butterfly and put it on at the bottom. Now the butterflies do have larger holes, so we're going to... The larger ones, I suppose, have got larger holes than the smaller ones. So we're going to show you a little treat in a minute how to do them. And then you want to put a bunch of beads on. Um, Dawn's saying, morning everyone, I have made a few of these. A while ago and they look really nice hung in the garden ah send us some pictures if you can Angela is saying loving the butterflies right um, I keep saying every day but some of you might have missed it so the free project page on our website is gone and we replaced it with a page called Facebook tutorials and if you go in there you can find today's tutorial on there as well and every single day going backwards because we wanted to, quite a lot of people couldn't find certain videos, so we thought that um, we put it together for you in a page with some of the products if you need, um, and then it sort of gives you an idea what you need to make um, that sort of project. So it's all on our website, so if you go on there, on, on the categories, you press on Facebook tutorials and it will bring you up the main page, then you can choose by date, um, and the picture of the product is there as well, the, what we are making um, today, what we made yesterday, what we did the day before, so you can catch up if you missed um, any of them. If then you go into that product and you click on the big Facebook page uh, button at the top, it will take you straight to the video which is relevant to that product. Oh, Joe's saying, got this some time ago, we'll get them out today and make. Catherine, good morning, Catherine. Oh, Dorothy is saying your craft storage looks amazing. Well, it, my craft room doesn't look amazing at all at the moment. I made a mighty mess in the last couple of weeks um, because Sarah did such a lovely video. Well, she just moved a couple of months ago soon, I think. And um, what happened is that she did a really nice video showing all her craft storage off and she was saying oh kitty maybe you should do one because you got much more storage you got like you know the different type of storage to what i have so people can see all different ideas how to make things and um i proceeded to start to tidy up my craft room then what happened is um we got busy and we were at work um, do you want to put another small one or are you putting a big one on now? You can put a small, big, small, big. So we're not, uh, Christopher is not counting the seed beads what he's using there. What he's doing, um, i got a ruler here. So he just did the first one, but uh, sorry, but if you're putting the large one on, we need to sort of show the trick what we're going to do with them. Okay. Right, so if you've got a large butterfly, the large butterfly has got a larger hole, so the beads might fall through them. So what we need to do, without just find your last bead, pick up an extra bead, and go through this last bead again to loop it around, so you have a nice sort of a little bead sticking out to the side, but once you put the butterfly on the top of it, you won't be able to see this. And that little bead just will stop the butterfly to slide down. So that just ask the stopper for the butterfly to slide down. So the beads can't go into the hole, but it sits right underneath it so you won't see it. So now you can go and carry on and string your beads. Um, we don't need to count the beads. So if you get a ruler, you can always measure how much beads we got 
just five centimeter of beads worth there between the first two butterflies. So carry on, add another five centimeters and we can add our next butterfly. So going back to the storage, um, after Sarah's video, I promised I'm gonna do a video on my storage and I proceeded to tidy up my craft room, but I don't know about you, uh, when I start to tidy up something, I have to almost take everything apart, take everything out of the cupboard, um, sort every bag out before they go back in, and um, it takes hours and days to do it really, the amount of stuff I got. And then I bought some um, other bits home from work, what like samples were half used and half set up for TV shows and bits and pieces. So I want to go through that today, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm really gonna finish. I wanted to finish this this weekend because I need a nice and tidy room to work in. So Christopher, just keep adding the beads, um, sweetheart. If you don't don't need to pick it up, you sort of just poke at them at the mat. It will be easier. And see, they just go on there. Very quickly, you can pick up the beads. Right, so what size seed beads do you use? So Christopher is using size 8 craft seed beads. So these are not um, your good high quality Toho seed beads. These are your cheapy craft seed beads because they are perfect for this decoration. Especially if you are uh, doing it with your children, you don't really want to use expensive beads. A uh, large bag of beads, they come in many, many different colours. And I love using these metallic ones because they sorry i'm just going to come in and show they come in they're much more colors in the box down there they come in many different colors they're three pound fifty for a hundred gram bag so in toho for the same finish you probably pay three pound for a ten gram bag and here a hundred gram bag which is probably will be enough for you to do at least 20 decorations well depending on how long you do the uh, do them um it's a really good value so these beads are a little bit odd they have um you looping them around now mm. yeah they're a little bit odd some of them can be smaller some of them can be larger but for this project they are perfect they're really perfect so that's it so christopher's got a couple of butterflies on i would have um probably done a little bit more between them so you can have a longer one but <laughs> Maybe if you've got a smaller bush, you can put it on there. So if I move this to the side, you can carry on and maybe add a small butterfly and the loop at the top. And then I'm going to start showing how to make the um, decoration. So if you want to move um, to the side, please. Are we going to have to share a cherry? Do the chair with him. Bless. There's your two crimpings, what you're going to need later. Right, so the, to make the mobile, I'm going to move these out of the way to have a little bit of a clearer picture for you. There's, yeah, probably even a bit of small butterfly. So move up a little bit, sweetheart, a little bit more. I'm going to let the camera down a little bit more so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So sorry, I'm going to wobble a little bit. We're going to go closer. Auntie is saying, morning, Kitty and Christopher. And Annie is asking, what fabric do you use on your table? So basically, this is just a piece of fleece. I think, oh, I can't remember how much I paid, $4.99 or $5.99 a meter from the local fabric store. They are great. When you're working with big projects like this and um, you need something a little bit... Um, you need a big piece of fabric to work with when you have, you know, or, or you're working with a large kit or a large bundle, you want to be able to have a big place to put everything out. And this is just like a bead mat. It stops everything rolling around. I do use the bead mats because I, I use bead trays quite a lot. And uh, when I sort of the bead in a garden or in front of the telly or anywhere else, um, it's really great to use them then. Right, so we're going to use the memory wire. Oh, Dorothy's saying you're doing so well, Christopher. Can I just move you just a little bit more, darling? That's it. Bless him. Right, to do the mobile, we're going to start at the part 
the uh, memory wire right at the top. Now, this is a really easy technique. Um, I'm not even worried that my loops on them, I just sort of fold them back over. Oh, if I bring it across so you can see it. Christopher, darling, you've got to bring the camera. You're not really looking at, this doesn't really have to look pretty because it's going to be hanging up somewhere. So even if you loops, as long as you loop them back over the beads, they will stop the beads coming through. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your pliers I'm just gonna grab these. I cut probably I cut this a little bit too big. We're gonna you only need about one loop around and maybe an inch and an inch and a half. You're gonna loop one end around, but don't have to loop it all the way because you don't you want the beads to come and sit in that gap so you have a continuous end. I'm just going to make a little U shape, I suppose, here. Then I'm going to start adding size 6 seed beads from the other side, darling. Mum, now what? Right, Christopher is at the top. He's made a shorty one. Um, and he added a couple of cream beads. Very, very carefully, he looked at the sample we made, which is the right thing to do. Um, sorry, jumping back to his project. Um, so on this cup, after cu this couple of cream beads, you need to add probably about four inches, which then gonna create the loop on the top. So keep adding your seed beads, sweetheart. Right, and I'm gonna be adding my seed beads to my wire to go all the way around. Again, when you're working on a mat like this, you can just sort of poke at them and carry on. And I'm picking up quite a few. So you want this, you can make it smaller. I suppose you could use the brace of memory wire as well to make it smaller and thinner. I just think the necklace one makes it nice and big. But I think if you do use the bracelet one, you only need to do maybe four of the dangly bits hanging down. So just keep going around, adding your seed bead. Picking them up. Because a memory wire is a tempered steel, it's going to come back to a nice circle shape. Oh, you're almost done, Christopher. You only need a, a little bit more. I think Christopher was over the moon with um, doing the button men's bless him. Um, so many of you loved it that um, he was really, he was really happy with it, and um, he even helped out backing out some of them. Bless him. I've seen some pictures on the handmade group and had a couple of emails as well that um, you're putting them into positions and like they sort of like the little naughty elves, I suppose, what you get at Christmas, but we are going into the summer. But so, it was such a fun project to do last week, wasn't it, Christopher? Yeah. One of the ladies asked if you can make an elf or perhaps Santa. I don't know, maybe. Or an angel. Maybe we would need different size of buttons. Have to look into it. Right, so Christopher looped it back. So let me just show the ladies. That loop is a little bit too small, but it will do for now. So he looped it back. Once, once he added a, quite a few seed beads, he went back through the two cream beads over there and we're just going to pull this really tight to tighten up that loop because you don't want the tiger feel showing and then you're just going to go ahead and crimp it. By crimping it he's going to crush it with a pair of pliers and then all you have to do on his one is just to trim the ends. Um, I need a little bit more. Trim the ends and you are done your decoration so it's a nice easy project to do 
for children. Now the butterflies are on offer on a website, so you get a hundred pieces of the large one, which is they are mixed colours. Um, they green, purple, red, uh, brown, um, sort of a, a goldy colour in there, um, turquoise, pink. So you get a hundred pieces of the large one for nine ninety nine, or you get a hundred pieces of the small one for five ninety nine. There's a, a, it's a lot. I mean, if you think one of one of these garden decorations where Christopher made, there's only five of them on there. So you will be able to make loads and loads of them. And you can use up some of your old seed beads as well. So let's just pull this up and see. Um, maybe about three more, three, four more seed beads we need. Oh, Sue is saying she made a button angel. It's in a totally handmade page. Yes, I've seen it. It looks really lovely. She graduated the size of the seed bead, the, and the side, not seed bead, sorry, the size of the buttons to make it look like the angel's got a lovely skirt. Um, right, so I got my loop around. What I need to do now, and I'm actually I'm gonna trim this a little bit before I go any further. Where is my cutters disappeared? No, I don't need I want that one. You need to stop reaching across. I'm gonna to have to cut it with my good pliers. That's it. So, once you went all the way around, I'm just gonna carry on and insert the beginning of my memory wire end on the other side and pull this really tight you might need a pair of pliers to pull it off to really tighten it up so you don't have any gaps on there and then i'm going to go ahead and on this side as well i'm going to bend it back so the beads sort of this little loops acts as a little stopper and the beads won't be able to come through or fall off Bend it right back. I'm sure I can do this with my hand. This memory wire is quite strong as well. I think it's about 0.6. So it's a really nice sturdy piece. And with this, we made um, our base, I suppose, at the top, um, what we're going to hang our beads down. So let me just trim the end here as well. Oh, show it off, Christopher, darling. Christopher finished it and he trimmed the ends bless him so we got four butterflies on this one so you could do less if you like i, I did five on mine come on talk the ladies through so to say something about it did you enjoy making it yeah i think he's a bit quiet today he might be a little bit tired right thank you very much sweetheart it's off he goes i think he's got his cousin on the computer and they playing Right, so from this point, we're going to take and we're going to use some seed beads and we're going to use some pearls to create these dangly down bits. Now, you could use tiger tail for this. I used needle and thread and um, pretty much the same um, technique um, as we did it on um, with the tiger tail. I'm just going to grab a string of pearls. I think that will be nice with it. And what shall we use? Shall we use... The really dark brown ones, or shall we use these lighter ones? Oh, Julie saying well than Christopher. Bless him. He, he really likes to get involved. Um, some of the days, he's really good. Um, today, I think he's a little bit tired because last night, well, I'm a little bit tired as well. What we did, let me know which color do you want me to use, the really dark brown one or the goldy one? The first um, color you say I'm gonna use. So last night um, I was doing my nails. So as you can see, I, I did my nails, I have them done. But um, why is this that when you go down to the nail shop, they do your nails in 40 minutes or, or 45 minutes, you done and dusted from beginning to end, and you're out on the door and you can get on with your day. When you're trying to do your own nails, the same procedure, gold, so I'm gonna use the gold one, this one, the same procedure takes you three hours. I just, 
I don't know. Uh, is, is there something wrong I'm doing or maybe because I'm doing one hand while I'm trying to do the other hand? Not sure, but it took me three hours to do. So I started at nine o'clock last night because I remembered, oh, I better do my nails because they looked a little bit, um, they've been quite long as well. And um, it took me, I think quarter to 12, I finished um, doing them. So when I went upstairs, I found Christopher next to my husband in my bed and I didn't really have the heart to wake him up so I went and slept in his bed but I think <laughs> we're gonna have to get him a new bed <laughs> because I didn't really have a very good night's sleep but never mind right so this is gonna take quite a lot of thread so because when going up and down, up and down, you can do each, you can do it in two separate ways. So you can either do your dangly down um, string or butterflies separately, and then um, knot each one of them onto your circle here, or you can sort of go, go down. I'm gonna knot this to my memory wire here. You can go down and then sort of come back up because you need to do a loop on the top to, getting them all together I just put this down so if I show you here so you can go all the way down then come back up and then you can straight go into this loop and loop you up over the top and come and do on the other side now I like to do it sort of symmetrically so if I'm going to start on one side I'm then going to straight go over to the other side but as you can see they're not I didn't can the beads um, you can measure them with a, a pair of, well, pair, not pair, with a, um, some rulers, but um, I usually just do it by eye because it's all natural. It's all going in a garden. It's going to look no great no matter what. So I'm going to take my thread. Oh, Bernie saying boots number seven, quick dry top coat works a treat. Dry through all the layers, uh, layered of polish. Right, so I didn't use normal polish. I got gel, so I need had to do the gel is the one what you do with the lamp. So I had to um, do quite a few layers, and especially with this color, it it, it was coming up quite. Um, sort of see-through I guess so I had to do three layers of the color and the bottom coat and the top coat so I was here forever I'm going to do three knots on this oh Emma saying nail tech here was so yep takes me longer doing my own nails I think because like you have to cure one in the lamp and then you take it out and then you're able to paint the the other side but hey ho I've done it now so we're good for a couple of weeks I guess right so I'm gonna take my seed beads and this is ever so easy I mean I, I'm not really sure how much uh, you know new thing I can show you with this I'm gonna use some of the pearls just I didn't spare them, but actually maybe I'm gonna go for a lighter pearl to have a bit of a contrast with that just grab a pair of scissors so um, the best thing to do is just to measure it as you go along if you had a bead spinner it can aid you I guess to picking up the beads faster but because we're using size 8 seed beads here um, they do sort of you can they, they do grow quite quickly so the other thing what I like to do is to use my needle as by rule so I would go along and keep picking up the beads until well I don't want to fill the needle up completely because then I won't be able to pull it through but by eye if I see I want to have maybe just sort of a thumb thumb bit this one escaped left on the end and that's my measurement if you're working with a shorter needle then um Obviously, you might have to measure it twice. Then I'm going to put a pearl on. Then I'm going to do the same thing again, just picking up all these lovely beads. They, if you put all your beads on the mat, they will jump up. 
Oh, Dorothy's saying I have got jail equipment too. Takes me two to three hours to, yes. I don't know. I'm really, I just, I think this is like thing with, with, with I, I used to do my nails all the time because when, I guess, um, maybe six, seven years ago, um, I always used to have my nail done because one of my friends is Hungary, she's a nail technician, and I always used to have my nails done when I went to Hungary. And well, she didn't really used to charge me for it, so um, I didn't really know how much is having your nails done cost, I guess. I'm going to add a small butterfly on here. And then um, when I came back to the UK, I thought, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to continue and have my nails done. And then I realized that it's actually really expensive. You have to do it like every other week. So um, when next time we were going back to Hungary, my friend told me, like, why don't you just buy the equipment? You can like buy lamps for like 10, 15 pan now and um, you can do it yourself. So she showed me everything to talk me through it, how to do it properly. And um, it was great. So I started to do them. But, um, and I did it for probably a good two or three years. But then we started creating crafts. So I needed a little bit more professionally. So I've been going down to the nail bar ever since. However, now with the lockdown, we are back to, but at least I will use up all my colors. I've got quite a lot of lovely colors. So some of them change color for hot to cold, which I, I love those ones. But they, some of them are quite dark as well. So they're not really good when you're trying to demo. So that's what I'm doing. Just adding sections of seed beads here. I'm going to add a larger butterfly here. But because the butterfly has got a larger hole, I'm going to pick up an extra seed beads on the top of it. And go through the last one to add a little bit of a stopper. Just act as a stopper so that my butterfly won't be able to move up or slide up or down over the seed beads and then go through the butterfly itself and just carry on i just want to get down to the bottom so i can show you how to turn around now i'm going to take two of the seed beads i'm going to make this stopper right underneath the butterfly as well so take it all the way down and then not going through the last one you did but the one before you're going to come through again and that will create that loop oh sorry it's on morning she said sorry i'm late or oh, she had a lie in bless her probably so that's it so now we've got a stopper on the top and the bottom and this butterfly won't be able to move because sometimes when your beads are larger hole you've got larger holes the beads can slide into it and then you can end up with some of your butterflies sort of falling to the bottom which is can be quite annoying i think sarah got home really late last night from the studios she had she finished maybe nine o'clock or something like that or quarter to ten maybe nine and she had nine pm hour the last one so she deserves a lay-in today so again i'm just and a few more beads i'm just doing it by eye um my ne helping my needle is helping as a guide for my sections adding another pearl now you can add as many pearls or as less pearls so you don't even have to add pearls if you don't want to like christopher didn't add any in his one but just keep carrying on and adding them adding the beads going all the way down Um, Sue's saying, it says I have access to the pattern, but can't see how to download it. Please help. So what you need to do with the pattern, you need to um, click on it. Oh, Sarah saying it was a 20 hour day. Um, you need to click on it. You need to add it to your basket and you need to check out on the website. Then the system will automatically email it to you. It doesn't cost anything. We still need to check out. So I'm just adding my small one to the bottom. Then all we're going to do is we're going to add, actually I'm going to add another little length to the bottom to have a little bit more decoration. But this is again, your own design. You can do as much or as little. You can use um, many different beads. 
I love these acrylic butterflies because they are really big, but they're very light in weight. So you don't, if you use crystals, it probably would look really nice um, in the sunshine sparkling, but because if you had a crystal this size, it would be really heavy and it would keep hold and pull your work down. So that's why these acrylic butterflies are perfect for this job. So just add another section. I'm actually gonna go through a pearl on the bottom Add a pearl then. So I'm, I'm right all the way down to the bottom. So I've done one line going down. Now you can either add a seed bead and knot your thread off and then knot another one to the top. But I have got probably about, I don't know, a six feet thread left here. So I'm gonna pick up a seed bead and I'm gonna go back through my pearl and back through all the seed beads right to the top. With this way, you are strengthening your beadwork as well, so it will be stronger and tightening it up as well at the same time. But if I didn't have enough thread, I could just sort of knot it off at the bottom and attach a new one. But I like to take it back up to have a really nice and strong connection there. Oh, Sarah's saying these butterflies look tiger eye. So they got this really nice shimmery finish to them as well. And I think it's the light, how it catches them, that you get that really nice um, look on them. And for, for something like when you're making, you know, something for your garden, you want something really a little bit different but depending on how you use your colors because you obviously got the red in there and you got other colors as well you can even make a mixed one up so you can have all sorts of different colors um probably too organized um minded or a little bit more ocd i, I can't really do random things so much but um i love all the different decoration but saying that it doesn't have to go into your garden you can have this on your porch or balcony you can have this in your kitchen you can have it by the window you can have it you know in your bedroom you can have it anywhere you like it the seed beads comes in so many different colors i'm just using the metallic ones here but you could use um you know frosted one shiny one any anything you like or anything you have at home in your stash as well because it's great to use them all up and what Christopher made, um, that decoration, he hardly uses any seed beads, so it would go for a long way. All you need is just the butterflies. Margaret saying, have to go, sorry, but I have saved the video. Thank you, Kitty and Christopher. We'll see if I can buy this. Have a lovely day. Oh, he's on the website, so if you go on our website, the page called Facebook Tutorials now. So the free, free PDF page is gone because we wanted to pull, pull everything together for you. So you have um, all the videos. Quite a few ladies were asking for the videos, what we've done before, um, because they missed them. So we created a page where you have all the videos and some items as well you might need um, to make them. Because the whole idea of this video was that we can use stuff up from our stash, but I do understand that not everybody's got everything at home. So if you need a few bits, we are still open. We're still sending orders out. Orders can take longer to go, though, because um, it's not really, well, um, we, sometimes we can get a day behind, but at the moment we are right on time. So we're sending out orders the same way as you, as we would um in any any other time but it's the post office so unfortunately they said to us the other week that parcels can take up to three weeks to reach you because it's there is so many people ordering stuff online that um they just really i guess it's taking them so much longer to deliver i know in our area they only delivering every other day sort of get the parcels together and 
is this just the sheer volume of them i guess right so if you haven't been measuring your seed beads up until now you really want to measure it on the top because from this point in the middle you really want to actually what i'm going to do i'm going to loop this around so i'm not straight coming out of the beads but i'm connected to the my base um as well so you really want to measure it because you don't want this section too long but you don't want it too short as well but from each angle where you're going to connect this up to the top you want it exactly the same amount so you, you want otherwise your circle might hang wonky so i'm just going to measure how many seed beads i have here i'm going to lift this up so i let the seed beads to sit nice and together let the gravity help me to do it usually i would lift this up and look at it by eye so i got if i take that last bead off i got exactly five centimeter so i'm just going to go back through this seed bead to take this one off that's it so i got exactly five centimeter now i need a bead i'm going to add a bead a one of these pearly beads so all of my strings are going to come into this bead later on when i turn around and what i'm going to do i'm just going to add one seed bead um actually i'm going to add a small butterfly to the top why not and then coming out of that butterfly i need to make the loop on the top now depending on where you're planning to put this or, or where you want to hang it up you want to make your loop smaller or larger alicia's saying orders have been um have been so fast at the point my parcels were coming every day i felt like a little girl being excited to receive post ah oh, bless so i think it depends where you live because some of the i suppose post offices are quicker or depending if they had any sickness or they're covering for other people but um i know a couple of ladies messaged us that that they order taken two or three days longer than normal but i think overall everybody's been quite happy and understanding because with the current situation certainly we haven't got any control over it we when we get the orders we pack them up as quick as we can and ship them out we're working seven days in a warehouse split into two teams so i'm on team one so we are in on monday tuesday wednesday and every other thursday and the other team is in on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and every other Thursday. So we're packing orders up every single day at the moment. But once it leaves our warehouse, it's in the hands of the Royal Mail. And unfortunately, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. How long is it going to take them? We do send them first class or second class, however you um choose your postage on the website and um, probably the best thing if you're ordering quite a few items is just to choose a courier because fedex will be there they're not guaranteeing next day at the moment either because i think they inundated with so many orders but um they will be there the day after i guess the latest so i'm gonna uh, that's probably enough i didn't really need to can this i'm gonna go back down my um the last seed bead and then back down through the butterfly itself pull this up tight and voila i got a little loop right at the top so this project probably would take you maybe a couple of hours to make i'm going to come back through my pearl pull this nice and oh, just loop the thread around the that's it pull this up nice and tight so it will sit nice there so now i'm gonna add another five centimeter worth of beads and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take as this is my top i'm gonna take it directly across my base here loop you around a couple of times just sort of without adding any bead sort of going between two beads um loop my thread around and then i'm off to do the second dangle a bit down there but it's really enjoyable to do this one i think i love um i love making beaded objects and other bits of pieces where you can use your jewelry making skills or any you know leftover materials you had for a long time but um, you never used for home deco i love doing bits of pieces with our beads so i'm going to measure this again 
and we got three more beads and then I'm gonna measure it with the ruler so again I'm lifting it up so it is the gravity helps me to go down so I actually need to take one bead off again I added one too many and then I'm just gonna take directly across That's about, I'm only doing it by eye, I'm not measuring it. That's about directly across, isn't it? And then I'm gonna come into my loop. I'm gonna let this, you can even form a little half hitch knot here, as Sarah calls it, or a little one thread knot, as I call it. Sarah, if you're still watching, yesterday when I was doing the video, I couldn't remember how you call the half hitch knot. Where's a half hitch knot? But lovely ladies, help me out. So I um, just wrapped you around a couple of times. So that's gonna be there nice and secure. And then we sort of have our beginning and hanging bit as well. Now you can make this bit longer if you like, and then you have a longer thing at the top. And then now you're just gonna go in again, adding your seed beads going all the way down and doing your measurements or the length of your needle or anything you like and picking up your beads and adding them in the same manner creating another hanging down strand on the other side but then once you've done one strand you can always measure your beads to that strand to be exact but i think in nature nothing in exact so if one of the butterflies is a couple of beads further down and the other one um oh sarah saying that's the one further up it doesn't really matter it's all it's all gonna look really good so i think that's it as I, I, I could stay here all day and do this and sort of but i don't i'm sure you don't want to watch me adding beads over and over again um to a piece of thread here so i'm gonna just lift this up and show you so that's how much we got so far so this is at the top you got your loop you got a little butterfly there we done one um strand dangling down and then now i'm on to the other side dangling that side down make sure you pull it nice and tight and then when i go down and come back up with this i'm going to go into the middle into the loop and then sort of come out somewhere in a sixth of of the circle to do my little wedges and then keep carrying one adding more and more as i go along so that's it really it's nothing nothing difficult if you'd missed the one what Christopher did in the beginning. Let me just lift this camera up a little bit. Sorry for the bubble, so you can see the samples better. Are you gonna go up? Yes. And that's it. So what Christopher did, this, he did, he did a mini one. Bless him. Um, I think the bottom man, he had to form the wire a little bit more and it was a little bit more interesting for him to do. But probably for a girly, this would be a really good one to do. So he did a mini one um, on a piece of tiger tail. I did a couple of um, jump, not jump rings, I'm sorry. A couple of cream beads at the bottom and then um, just strung it on with a butterfly, some seed beads, another butterfly. Now he did this by eye, but as I can see, it's pretty even as well. You don't need to count your beads. You can always measure it with a ruler. Um, the ones I did, I made them a little bit longer because of depending of how big of a hedges or bushes you have, you want to put them on, uh, but it's a really great, um, and there is um, smaller and larger butterflies on there as well. Oh, I love the green one as well, but you can do mixed colors as well if you like. We're sort of trying to curl it around for you. So the couple of mixes on the website is you got your large butterflies. Um, you got so many different colors in here. It's a really a great one to, to work with and create with. That one is 100 pieces for $9.99. And you got your smaller one. Again, I think there's a couple of more there's turquoise in the smaller one, there is no turquoise in the bigger one. But um, in the small one as well, you get 100 pieces for $5.99 on the website. We added the memory wire loop as well. 
there so if you need one because this is a necklace size so this is larger than your bracelet size the bracelet size usually is probably a little bit smaller than this wheel and um, you can do it on a smaller one as well but then i wouldn't add six i would add maybe four of the the dangly down things themselves they're already saying love 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 these lives sarah when you are doing the resin slice please and she's done a video um, on the resin on her Facebook page, which is called Sarah Millsop. Um, if you do on go, go on there and find her, I think if you wind it back, but maybe Sarah can uh, send you a link um, with the video, you can watch it. It was amazing. I watched it myself as well. Um, I am dying to have a go at a penny table I want to do with resin and um, pennies, but um, I just really haven't had the time to sort it out yet. D saying the butterfly look lovely. Thank you for your time again. Throw saying it's very nice that Christopher did. You can have it indoors our window. Yes, of course you can, or you can dangle it. If you make it shorter, I guess you can dangle it down on your like Christmas. I like to do. I got this little angels and little stars um, on a longer loop, and then I just hang them up on the the knobs in the kitchen on the cupboard. And they just look really great, just makes it a little bit more sort of a little bit different, a little bit of a change um, decoration in your kitchen and looks really good. So you could do that as well. Oh, Sarah's saying just waiting for some glitters will be next week. I'll do the dream catcher to do. Oh, lovely. Do put, do put a link as well in there, Sarah, so they can um, follow your page and um, have a look at it that, um, and what you're up to because I always say Sarah and me are very similar but very different so we both really like jewelry making and um, I think pretty much 80% we know the same techniques but um, then there are things what Sarah likes to do more and there are things what I like to do more so I suppose we are a funny pair here but then she likes to do her resin stuff I like to do uh, some knitting and crocheting um i suppose all sorts of crafts um so we are very alike but very different at the same time um i got my um personal facebook page as well which is kitty robinson designs where i'm going to be doing a video tonight because so many lovely ladies asked you about my earrings and I'm going to show you what I got. I have uh, contacted Helen in France and she, her studio is just being decorated, but she will make some beats for us and I'll let you know what sort of we can get. So I'll do a video on mine tonight with all these lovely beads. Maybe we can make an earring as well or, or something like that. I'll have a little um thing. So that will be seven o'clock tonight. Um, Sarah's gonna be with you tomorrow morning. She's gonna be making her ombre choker necklace. So we haven't got samples. I have I sent it all up to her. And um, it's just so it's gonna show you how to do, um, I think there's five different colors of seed beads in that necklace. It just creates a really great effect. There is some crystals in the kit as well, so you can lengthen your necklaces or just add a little bit of a sparkle. Um, Dorothy's saying, fabulous kitties, gems will be lovely in the resin. Um, oh yes, we got those um, resin crystals as well, which hasn't got any holes in the warehouse. So, ooh, I maybe need to phone up Sarah quickly and ask for some a bit more advice. I need some heat resistant resin to do the table, but I could, well, I could do clock coasters as well with those resin bits. Hmm. We did look into um, getting some um, UV resin. So maybe that will be something to make some jewelry bits of pieces and cabochons. Um, that will be something what will be available soon, but we haven't made any um, with the current situation. I suppose all new products is, um, put on hold so that's it for me today do you check out the website and um, watch sarah tomorrow and then it's going to be sarah's going to be back on monday as well i have added um all the events to the facebook page now but um unfortunately because i was doing it from home yesterday i haven't got all the pictures to add so i'm gonna make them live um the rest of them live what um 
what, what what's happening on Facebook but that's all on there now so what today 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 is the 16th so tomorrow Sarah is doing her ombre joker necklace Monday she is going to be beading with Margarita Everbloom cabochons which they are really great they got this really nice ridge on them to work with um, Tuesday is going to be geometric rings so we are talking about closed rings and they come in all sorts of different shapes um, and Wednesday I'm going to be back with hematite fans um, sort of a basic stringing um, video but it will be the fans so I'm just going to be telling you different options what you can do with it um, Doris is saying hi Kitty, bye Kitty and Sarah nice to watch you again take care both of you so all of you do take care today stay safe and um keep on crafting do pop pictures up in our handmade group because i really love to see you so um i i, I don't know it, it makes me feel proud like a mom even um when i, I suppose as i'm proud as my kids when, when they do something when i can give you some inspiration and not long you just make it up but you take it even further and put your own spin on there and all like really nice and wonderful things you can create with so do put a pictures on there um that's in our if you go on our facebook page which is where you are now if you're watching the video and um, we've got some groups um handmade by total beads i suppose that's the one which has got the most members and you can just add any picture in no project is too small or too big so don't think that you're a beginner and you can't share because sometimes um as they say less is more and the simple things will give inspiration to other people as well to what they can do and how they can um better themselves and how how they can start or maybe give them the confidence as well that um they they will start sharing their pictures as well so have a good day everyone i hope you enjoy your weekend um it's still sunny here so hopefully we'll get out or maybe go down for a walk for a seaside or, or a bike ride some point today but i'm gonna be cracking on and um really tidying up this mess i made in over the last couple of weeks well parts of it parts of my room is nice and tidy so i can um yeah get back to normality but um have a lovely day that's for me actually I, i'm just i'm standing here and i'm just sort of talking down to the camera and i can just sort of turn around and actually see you so that's it for me today have a lovely weekend um i hope you enjoy whatever you do put pictures on the website um download the project sheet because there is a project sheet with the mobiles um where is it let me just lift it up and that's it with the mobiles there is a project sheet what you can download to make them and um, if you need any of the butterflies they on the website as well and that's it have a lovely weekend and i will see you next wednesday so we'll be serving you for the next three days and um yeah have a lovely time bye